what has been the best part of this reunion for you guys thus far? Connecting with the cast, like we're one big family. So just like seeing everybody has been so nostalgic, but yet so fun because we're all goofballs. How everyone's grown and seeing how some people have created a family, et cetera, et cetera. It's beautiful. Certainly, yeah. Realizing that this connection we have stands the test of time, that exactly. even though many years had passed, it's like no time had passed. Yeah. I, I seriously dropped to my knees and started getting really emotional when I saw everybody. I think we all had really similar reactions. <laughs> yeah. But I'm curious, do you guys ever talk, did you guys talk about where your characters might be today and specifically where Zoe and Chase's relationship may stand today? Well, I think that that's probably the number one question everyone wants to know. Uh -huh. um, and, you know, I've had conversations and we want to be able to tell everyone's story um, very, you know, as, as, as the best way we can and finding the right home for it. I think that's the most important part right now. Um, and with Zoe and Chase, I think that their story is, um, it's not finished. I think there's a lot to still be said and we'll figure out where they are and how that all goes into play. But I definitely think that there's, there's more to that. I do believe that, um, you know, those two um, had a strong bond and I don't think it's finished at all. I think with Dustin, he would be like, kind of like, I feel like all our characters emulate us in a sense, even if it's not perfect. He would be do some, doing something in the arts or maybe social media world or music world, but I feel like he's always getting into trouble. So he would need to be saved by his big sis. And it's so cool too, because not only have all of us talked about like where our characters would be, but the coolest uh, thing about it all is that the, all the fan base is coming up with scenarios. Is there a, a quintessential memory or time from the show that you guys have all referenced or brought up since being together? You know, something that embodies your time together that you all are like, remember when that happened? Miss Patty, who is like, to me, was- Yes. I think the school room was where the best memories were. It was yeah. like where we were, we were, yeah, on a show, but we were also kids that were being a pain in the butt to a school teacher who did love us and was protective of us. I really believe that our best memories were, you know, obviously we were able to shoot on this great, in this great location and with these wonderful people. But when we were in the room, when we were in the room just being kids in a school room, that was when I think the funniest and the best memories were made. We all brought different interesting aspects to the table in our own weird ways, you know, whatever it may have been. And I think that we all ended up becoming who we are today hugely because of that experience. Sean is probably the one person that got me like into so much different music that I still listen to to this day. Is everyone at a place in their personal lives and their professional lives where you would be open to doing this on a full-time basis? Are you guys hopeful that this may lead to something more permanent? Yeah, I mean, that is the ultimate goal. Um, you know, these conversations were being had before quarantine and obviously we're still having them, but everything's just at a slower pace as everything in the world is at a slower pace right now. But I think that, um, I think that for me, especially during this time off, it's only made me appreciate what I get to do even more. And then being able to really work on this and make sure we're telling the story right and finding the right home for it.